Hello and welcome. In this question, we are required to calculate the number of panels the truck can carry given a total hauling power of 400 kilowatts. So we need to use one of our power equations and the one that perfectly suits this question is power equals work over time since they've given us time. So we need to incorporate that somewhere. So power equals work over time. And I know my work to be change in potential energy plus the change in kinetic energy and that's divided by the type. So it says here that the truck is traveling at a constant velocity which means there will be no change in kinetic energy since there is no change in velocity. So change in Ke is zero. So simplifying this equation we have power is equal to change in potential energy is mgh final minus mgh initial over time. So initially it was at ground level, so our initial height is going to be zero. So my mgh initial is zero. So now I'm left with power equals mgh final over time. Now we need to figure out what this final height is by using trig. So the truck is climbing a 100 meter road at an angle of 11.3. There's my right angle here, this is 100 meters, and I want to find my height. So using trig, in this case we've got opposite and hypotenuse, so sine 11.3 equals h over 100. So h is equal to 100 sine 11.3. Chuck that into your calculator and you get your h is equal to 19.59 meters. Now that we've got our final height, I can now go substitute that value into our power equation. So I've got 400 kilowatts, which is 400,000 watts. And that's equal to my mass, which I want to find, the total mass, times gravity, which is 10, times the final height, which is 19.59. Divide that by the time, which is always in seconds, and that's given to us as 20. And then cross multiply, and you get 8 million. equals 195.9 m divide both sides by 195.9 and you get m is equal to 40,830 kilograms which is the same as 40.83 tons so let's go from kilograms to tons we divide by a thousand so this mass value is the total mass so that includes the truck the trailer and the panels to find the mass of the panels in total, we now minus the 10 tons, which is the truck and trailer, from the total mass. So mass of panels is simply 40.83 minus the mass of the truck and trailer, which is 10. So that gives us a total mass of 30.83 tons of these panels. So now to find how many panels we have in total, we just simply divide the mass of the panels by each panel. So number of panels is just 30.83, divide that by 7.5, and that gives us a total of 4.11. Now we can't just have 4.11 panels, so the truck can carry a maximum of four panels. And that's your answer.